Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.blogspot.com and today I have a, a sort of re-review of the Orange San Francisco. Alright, let's get to it. Alright guys, I recently reviewed the Orange San Francisco uh, a few days ago. Um, was it days or weeks? I'm not sure. But um, anyway, when I reviewed it then, I had I had made very few changes to it. I Everything I'd done had been legal. I'd changed the keyboard, which you can get from the market. I sideloaded a few apps, which is alright. This one here, guys, is the big one. As you can see from the bottom, I've got Froyo. As in the last video, I was, um, <coughs> sorry, I was running a Claire. And, um, Froyo is a massive improvement over a Claire. It, it really is. It, it's just so much more um, fluent. It, the transitions, it's moving through screens. I could just told you there. Look, there's very minimal lag. You get a little bounce back when you go through the pages. So it's very nice to see. And it's fast with um, Android 2.2's just-in-time compiler or JIT compiler. Um, it, it's been brilliant. Uh, in the first video, I think I said. Um, when I took it on Quadrant, I was getting scores of around 350. And as good as that is, for a 600 megahertz processor, it's it's not too bad. But I want to show you guys what it's all about on Froyo. If I still have Quadrant scored, I do. If I open up Quadrant and I run a full benchmark. Alright guys, this... Oh, sorry. This is going to run through my phone basically and stress it to the maximum. It's going to push the device to its limits. So, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to, while I'm here, I'm obviously going to, not just going to let you watch that, I'm going to uh, run through a few of the specifications of the device. It's running a 600 megahertz ARM6 um, ARM Cortex 6 processor which means even though I'm on Froyo I won't be able to have Adobe Flash installed sorry guys I, I know people that wanted the um, 2.2 said oh yeah Froyo I'm getting Flash yeah anything, anything under 800 megahertz you won't get Flash sorry guys um, so unless we figure out a way to overclock this you're not really gonna um, get anything else but me being with Froyo, I get the new and improved browser, which uh, fixed the security uh, problem with the 2.1 Eclair browser. So, it's all good. It's all good. Um, <laughs> sorry. And um, the camera really doesn't do it justice, but the OLED screen, OLED screen on this thing is just gorgeous. It really is. Everything's just so much. Wow. I've had it for. Uh, just under, no, just over a month now, and I'm still like, wow, when I look at photos. Alright, benchmark results is sending my results off. Oh, service call photo. I'm going to run the benchmark again, but this time, guys, I'm going to um, chop it off, like, here. Wow. Alright, guys, try as I may, I've tried it about three times now, I can't seem to get Quadrant to show me my score. Every time I run through, it says uh, surface call failed. So, sorry guys, I'll see if I can um, try and. Oh, wait a sec, guys, I just realised I'm not connected to the internet. Eh, bit of an idiot. Um, let me just connect to my Wi Fi network and I'll try quadrant again. I think I'll just cut this entire section out. I can just go beep, 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 beep. That was me swearing, I was just bored, so. Well, righty then. Let's try quadrant again, guys. And I'll try not to feel like so much of an idiot. Here, guys, uh, run a full benchmark on quadrant. Tap to go. This quadrant's finished running, let's see. Alright, here it is. And, uh, wow. Um, this annoying camera isn't going to make it out. I don't know if I put it really close to the lens. Go on, focus. Nope, sorry, guys. But, um, uh, I think I'm going to be a surprise to you guys here. Um, I've got 983 
which is above the Samsung Galaxy S on 2.1, above the Nexus One on 2.1, the HTC Desire on 2.1. So all these ones that are below it are 2.1s. Yeah, but the phone above it is a Motorola Droid X, which is a one gigahertz um, behemoth from America, which is scoring just over 1,000. I'd probably say about 1,100. But for me, 983, that's the highest I've ever got on Quadrant. I'm well happy with that. And it just shows to show you how much faster um, Froyo is than... <coughs> goes to show how much faster Froyo is than Eclair. It, it, the proof is in the pudding. No pun intended. Um, let's go back. Uh, another thing that is brought in the Froyo update, or well not update, I serve manual or I slash, is um, a new Google search bar. So, if I tap on the Google icon here, it opens up an app, and I can search from all web apps and contacts, and uh, I've got to do voice search. So, um, let's just see, I'll do a voice search. Android. And now it's doing a Google search for Android which is uh, not bad. I think 8 or 9 times out of 10 um, this gets uh, it gets it correct, it can understand my voice. I've obviously got a uh, North London accent so I slur my words quite a lot which is my fault, not Google's not recognising it. Um, what else? Oh! Market. Sorry I love doing that. Uh, if you go into market, you'll now find that um, it's a little bit different looking over the top. But um, so we go here to downloads. Uh, let's see an app I use every day, and if it gets outdated, I am rendered totally useless. Where is it? Chomp SMS. On Android 2.2, you can allow automatic updating, which means if you're if you're connected to a network, so if you've got signal or if you're at Wi-Fi, and it's got an update, it w it won't show up in your notification bar up here saying, "Oh, you've got an update. You need to do it now," and drags you to the application. It automatically does it in the background without doing it. And I've got this for a um, <coughs> I've got this set up for a couple of my apps, which I find quite useful. Uh, what else? Oh, apps to SD. This is priceless. I've run out of space on this thing. Oh, it's a ridiculous amount of time. That 150 megabytes gets used up so quickly. So I can manage applications. You have downloaded, running, all and on SD card. So if I go to SD card, I have Aldeco, Book Reader, Angry Birds, Barcode Scanner, Dropbox, Ping Chat, Unblock Me Free and WhatsApp. I have all these downloaded ones. It doesn't seem like a lot, guys, but it really oh sorry it really does work so if I go to one I know is in there so Aldeco uh, now it says move to phone but um, have four stop uninstall clear data and move to phone or move to SD wherever it is at the moment which is this little box here Woo. stupid camera you can't see anything on it uh, apart from that guys oh Gmail the Gmail app has been updated I don't think it's that much of a difference. So if I always if I just refresh here, yeah, there's um you can add multiple accounts. So if I uh, tapped on where it says my email here, which is dom lambert two one at gmail dot com, which should be in the bar around here, I think. I'm going to try and put it in the video. If I click on there. It say uh, one account added, so I could add another account if I had another Gmail account, which I don't. This is my main Gmail, which is my only Gmail. Uh, YouTube also has an update, and this it's a pretty major aesthetic change to YouTube. Um, uh, let's see, uh, channel I watch a lot, Phone Arena, that does a Droid Pro review. So if you tap on that, it will automatically start playing. Uh, you don't. Phone Arena let me just turn it down, and uh, it will start playing this way. If you turn it over to landscape, automatically fills up the entire screen, which is very handy. And uh, no manual controls. You tap the screen to show the controls. Tap it again to pause it. Do it again. You got the high quality button there, which doesn't want to work. Oh, is it going to work? Tip, 
TikTok, TikTok. There's a problem while playing. Oh well. Bound to have things like that. Alright guys, um there, as you guys know who have a San Francisco, you can't ma you can't um go to settings um about phone which is the way down there. And you can't do um system updates. Since my phone is currently on state, it should be I'm on Pro Oh Junior Bridge released yet. On normal San Francisco, you don't have a systems update. I went to um blade.modico.com and um I downloaded uh I watched a video on how to root my phone which helped. I installed Fastbit on my computer and I managed to push a uh Android two point two ROM onto this, which is how I got two point two. It's a mix between the Chinese version of the San Francisco which is called the ZTE Blade. Um it's a mixture of that ROM and one from America's own G2, which is known as a HTC Desire Z in the UK. This guy called uh, it's FLB Beta ROM 2.2, I think. Uh, just took, it's usually most searched in um, blade.modico.com. That'll be uh, up here as well. Ooh, well, I couldn't think of the top. Um, but uh, oh, uh, minor aesthetic changes. Uh, well, I don't really use that anymore. Anyway, um, there's there's a minor change to the camera app, which doesn't really affect me. I don't use a standard Android camera app. I use Vignette instead, which is a very, very, very good and worthwhile. But now you can see, instead of having to drag out tray from that side, you have these ones over here. So you tap them and they expand. So, yeah, they're alright. But like I said, I use what I feel to be the superior camera app which is Vignette it it looks pretty basic guys oh I just took a picture um but hey thanks guys this is Dom from mobiledom.blogspot.com uh, hit me up there or at twitter twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom see you in the next video guys peace